Hello, welcome to Microsoft Dynamics 365 Financial Operation Tutorial Series. In this video, we will talk about find method. So first, we will understand what is find method and what is the purpose of it. And then we will create a find method for a custom table uh, that I have created in this tutorial series. So let's try to understand what is find method. The find method is a custom method so we already discussed about that there is two type of method first one is the inbuilt method that are already present inside our tables but few uh, methods that we have to create uh, our methods so that is also the user defined method so like this way for each and every table there should be a find method okay so if we will create a new table or user defined table so for that table we have to create the find method okay and this particular find method custom method usually created with every table or all table the find method returns a specific record based on the primary key or if you have any other unique key then based on that primary key or other unique key uh, we have to return a particular specific record and you have to remember that you have to create this method as a static method okay and what is the purpose of this particular method the purpose of this particular method to retrieve a single record from a table based on its primary key value or unique key okay number second uh, it will provide a convenient and efficient way to locate a specific record for further operation so you can select a particular record and you can uh, view that record or you can read the data from it or you can update or you can delete that particular record uh, after the find operation after finding out that particular record from that table okay so this is our purpose so let me show you as you can see here that we are inside our vm if you want to see the find method uh, in our already existing table then if you'll go to this particular invent site i think mean, if you'll go to the if method section so let me search here find method so here you can see there is a find okay this one is the method if you want to see the code just right click and view code so this one is our find method okay and as you can see that this is the static method and it is a public method and you had to remember that you had to specify the data type return type as a invent site table itself because it will return the data of the table type data okay so for that reason you had to uh, specify the invent site and then as you can see that it is taking two parameter first one is the invent site id and the second one is a boolean parameter underscore update and it's taking its uh, value as a false and this underscore update will take its default value as a false so you can pass this particular parameter while calling this find method or you cannot pass so if it's your choice so if you want to pass you can pass it true otherwise by default it will be false okay and this one the invent site id this one is the nothing but the unique id unique id means if you'll go to this particular event site table and if you'll go a little bit above and if you'll go to the index you can see that in the site id we have site id is there right and if you'll go to here that there is also tax branch id exists there but here in our case we'll take the invent site id why invent site id so if we'll go to this particular section so if we'll go over here and if you will press the alt and enter you'll be able to see that the particular name of this particular field is site id but the data type of it is invent site id so actual data type is invent site id so that's why we are taking the data type as a invent site id and it will take as a site id in this particular field 
so that's why you have to remember that so this particular invent site id it will be the site id and our site id if we'll check the index and if you'll uh, see the properties of it if you'll see the properties of uh, this one you can see that allow duplicate it allow duplicate it also no that means this is the primary key you can we can say and this is the unique right so that's why it is you have to remember that the whatever the value we will pass here as a parameter that should be unique in the table okay and after that we are we are creating a buffer of invent site table and then you can write a check condition over here okay so if the update is true then you can uh, write this particular code inside it so if it will be true then it will select the data of that particular record and it will lock that particular record uh, to edit or further utilization okay to edit or to update so this particular method select for update what it will do it will rock lock that particular record uh, itself for update and if this particular site id is present what it will do it will select the first record from the invent site and you can see here here you can see over here there is a index hint so index hint what it will do for first retrieval of the data you can write this particular index and then you have to specify the site idx so if you go to this particular section you can see there is site idx and there is site id is there okay and after that you have to specify that particular record id so here you can see there is site id equal equal then you have to specify this particular site id um, by which we are actually trying to search the record trying to find out the record and after that this will return a record of type invent site and after that it will return that particular data uh, to the caller itself so if you want to see how we can call this particular find method so there is a one one four references there right so if you click over here you will be able to see that from where we can call it so as you can see that at data invent site method find or create so if you click over here you can see there we have to if you want to search that particular record then what you have to do you have to specify the invent site itself and after that scope resolution operator then you have to pass the site id and you can if you want to edit the record then you have to pass true otherwise you can pass it false or you can left it blank if you left it blank or you just passed only the site id then it will uh, take the update as a false okay so this way you can call and you can uh, take that particular data and based on that you can operate you can read that one you can update that one or you can delete that one okay so i hope now it's clear that what is find method and how can we utilize the find method but we have not created our own find method so in the next video we'll create our own find method and i will show you how you can call that one so thanks for watching this video see you in the next one till then take care bye bye